welcome back to Up North with an Ivers. Ed here. Today is March 28th, and it certainly wouldn't be March without some snow. So welcome to Up North Michigan. The current temperature right now is about 32 degrees. How do I know? Well, we actually have a weather station here on the property, and it's Weather Flow's Tempest model. And it's, uh, I was going to film down there, but it's really, really windy, and so I was afraid you couldn't hear me. So you may be wondering, why do we get a weather station? Mainly because the closest weather station that the weather apps use is located at the airport in Traverse City, Michigan, which is about 20 miles away. And you may think, well, that's pretty close, and it is. The challenge is, is that we actually live on a peninsula, and we're about 15 miles from Lake Michigan. And the weather can be completely different here than in Traverse City. We actually have a microclimate here, and the temperature is routinely five, seven, 10 degrees different than what we see in Traverse City. So why do we care so much about the weather? Well, first of all, we are both, Kathy and I are kind of weather geeks. And more importantly, because we burn wood for heat in the winter, we track the weather and the amount of wood we use and correlate the two. Kathy actually keeps a spreadsheet and she has for a couple of years on the amount of wood we use each day and the temperature and this helps us really narrow down our yearly requirements. We've been doing this now for, like I said, a few years, so we have a pretty good idea on our yearly usage. So that's the main reason why we have the, the weather station. So let's go in and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about Weatherflow's Tempest model. Okay, welcome inside my office where it's certainly much warmer. It's still snowing outside and it looks like it's gonna be snowing pretty much the rest of the day. I thought I could give you a clear picture if I went to Weatherflow's web website and explained the weather station. We've had this weather station now for about a year, so we feel comfortable that we can give you the pros and cons of uh, what we like and what we don't like. So let's start with some of the pros that we do like. And I'll scroll down here so you can get a better idea of what the unit actually looks like. Uh, it is simply uh, a weather station and it utilizes all these sensors all built all around the unit to give actually 15 weather data points and it seems to be reliably and built so it seems pretty tough and it should be because it certainly has to withstand some pretty harsh conditions especially up here in northern Michigan. Uh, it is solar powered so we we don't have to worry about batteries or anything like that. It's uh, wireless, which is great. We've got our unit probably about 250 feet away from the base unit. And, and then the base unit then connects to our uh, wireless router. And we have had great connectivity. We haven't had any issues with it at all. And they say it can even go much farther out, but ours is about 250 feet, I would guess, which is, which is awesome. Um, it's very accurate with those sensors, as I mentioned before. It takes 15 weather-related measurements and, and it uses those measurements not only to record each and every one of them, but it uses it obviously to forecast uh, your weather forecast in the coming hours and in the coming days. And, and that has been pretty accurate. I've been very happy with that uh, as well. The other thing that we really like is this app. Uh, they call it an it's a artificially intelligence powered weather app with guaranteed accuracy. I don't know how you can guarantee the weather, but uh, they're certainly making the claim. And, and so far, it has uh, lived up to, to what we thought it was going to be. So we're real happy with that. And this app it has been awesome. It, it really uh, takes this data. And it does give us this hyper-local forecasting. As I mentioned before, we were always relying on a weather station that was, you know, 20 miles away with completely different weather influencers, such as uh, the bay and being down in a valley and, and things like that. So now we have something that is much more accurate. Uh, the other thing, too, uh, that I'll mention here is this real-time data from our location. So I'm constantly checking the data here on the app and, and the app works both great for iOS and Android. And we have both and we utilize both. 
Uh, the other thing that we really like about it is, it is it keeps track of the history. And we've been, now we've had it for a year, and we can go back months and almost uh, an entire year now and, and see what the temperature was and what the wind was like and how much rain and, and all of that stuff as well. And then, of course, it uh, alerts us when it starts raining or if there's any type of uh, lightning or thunder, it, uh, it actually alerts us on our phones. Uh, and quite frankly, this guaranteed better forecast has been pretty accurate because there's these weather stations all over the country. And uh, there, you can see them. They're all over the country. And so it, it gathers all of these data points and, and then predicts what your weather is gonna be like. So if you look at where we're located, we're located right here, just north of Maple City, and, and, and we are. We're absolutely on a peninsula here. We're about 15 miles from Lake Michigan, the big lake over here, and yet we were always relying on Traverse City Airport right here, and the elevation differences is pretty significant between where we're located and where Traverse City is. And Traverse City does, you know, they're somewhat protected here in this bay, and so we saw quite a bit of differences in uh in the temperature swings. And so that's why we decided to get this out here in Maple City. Uh, but it does use all, all of these data points across the country to predict the weather. So I would say that we're pretty happy with the weather forecasts and it, it will go out to, here's the actual app on the computer screen here, but it will go out, I believe it goes out seven or ten days let's see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so yeah it goes out ten ten days and like i said it's it's pretty accurate uh, but this is kind of what it looks like if you have a desktop the app is pretty similar to this but with this you'll you would have to refresh this uh periodically uh it this top section here is uh dynamic which means it is it is uh, updating as the weather is changing and as the wind is changing. You can see it moving here a little bit. But any of this stuff down here, uh, you, you do have to refresh it in order to see that. On the app, you don't have to, so that's nice. But this is this is pretty nice. It's, uh, it's pretty dynamic and you can sit and stare at this all day. And uh, today might be one of those days where we're watching it pretty closely. Uh, but that's the pros. Now let's get into some of the some of the cons that uh, that that we see with it. Okay, let's uh, talk about some of the cons here. There's there's really three big ones that kind of stand out for me, and one of them has to do with something uh, as why you would buy a weather station in the first place, and that is to be able to capture how much rain you're getting over a period of time. And, and the Tempest does not do a very good job with that. It does an okay job, but it's not a, a great job, like a, a rain gauge. And the reason for that is it has this hepatic rain sensor right here. And, that, it, and the way that that works is it doesn't capture the rain. It measures how much rainfall is falling via kind of like a software artificial intelligence type system and it and it uses an algorithm to decide how much it's raining how hard it's hitting the sensor over what period of time and then it calculates uh, the amount of rainfall that you get and and quite frankly it tends to under report and you can and this has been a problem that people have mentioned with this uh, weather flow tempest gauge uh, it, it it has been a problem for some people so if you're looking for really really exact measurements of rain at your particular location, then certainly you may want to con continue to, to look elsewhere or get a separate rain gauge. It does a pretty good job, and that's something that uh, we've decided isn't a big thing for us uh, because it does notify you, and it does a pretty good job if it's raining pretty hard or a moderate rain, but if it's drizzling you know, all day, it's not gonna capture the amount of drizzle that you have very effectively. And you certainly, in, in weather flow, says that you could calibrate this 
but it's not that big of an issue for us and so we're not going to go through the process of trying to calibrate it with a with a rain gauge but just be forewarned that that can be an issue with it and it is for some people as well uh, and speaking of that hepatic rain sensor at the top another thing that we get we as i mentioned we get notified when whenever it starts to rain and that's great we also get notified if a bird lands on top of it and that is not so great so we periodically it can be sunny out and all of a sudden we get a notification that it's raining outside or if we're not home that it's raining where we're located and so what uh, weatherflow has, has decided to do to try and stop this is to to add this uh, bird deterrent and this is what it looks like and, and and we have one and it works pretty well it, I, I gotta say it works pretty well it's these spikes sticking up this is just a near neoprene fi fixture that goes over the top with these spikes sticking out of it and it works pretty well however we do have some smaller birds some sparrows that can get in between these and it'll still set it off so I do recommend getting this I wish it was included it should be included because that is an issue uh, so that's the other kind of con that we have and then uh, lastly the third one is cost and and I know I put that in the pro section as well but I put it in the cost be because it also isn't super cheap you know it can be uh, I think the price now is 329 but the good news is is they do have every once in a while they'll have some type of code where you can get you know fifty dollars off or some other accessory included and so if you're not really into weather then three hundred and twenty nine dollars certainly uh, seems like a pretty high price to to have this you know sitting in your in your yard so that's something to consider as well uh, as far as installation out of the box pretty simple it wasn't a problem at all it took me maybe 10 minutes to to set it up you have to turn it on obviously and then set it up with your wireless router but that was pretty pretty simple and that what that wasn't a problem and didn't take very long uh, the thing that took a little bit of time was the installation and like I mentioned I bought this uh, a year ago and I had to go and source the, the way that I was going to install it on a fence post or you know on a building that has clear clear sight lines to wind and rain and and sunlight and so on and so forth but now weatherflow is offering this simple installation kit for twenty dollars i highly recommend you getting that it's just a uh, a system setup of you know pvc pipe bunch of sections and you can put it on a on a post so it's much easier than what i did so i certainly would recommend that as well uh, the other thing that I, that we do like about it is, as I mentioned, I've I've got this app, and it I have it on the phone. My phone, Kathy has it on her phone, so we're always uh, aware of what's happening at our house weather-wise. And the other thing that I do is I take all of this data and I upload it to uh, Weather Underground, and so I have a an account here. It's it's pretty it's free to upload this. Uh, I ended up uh, getting an account just because I get some other features with it as well too. But I upload everything so that anybody around me or anybody that's traveling up here can see the conditions, uh, you know, virtually in real time. It uploads uh, pretty quickly, which is awesome. So I highly recommend if you if you don't have the app Weather Underground, it's a really really good one. So certainly consider getting that. Uh, I'll put links into both the Tempest website that I have, this one. I'll also do my personal website up here too, so that you can look at our Maple City 13 weather station. Uh, and as you can see, it is snowing. And I'll switch over. I made this a little bit larger, and you can see all the other weather stations that are out and about around me. If I zoom in on this a little bit, probably have to go a little bit more here. You can see our weather station, which is right here in the center. And you can see Traverse City over here. Uh, like I said, it's about 20 miles apart. And we're about, you know, 15, 
12 to 15 miles from the Big Lake, Michigan. And so right now, Traverse City is reporting 35 degrees. We're reporting 32, and most everybody around us are, is pretty close to 32 or, or a little bit warmer. And sure enough, it's snowing. I'm looking outside, and it's still coming down. So this is in uh, real time. Uh, the reason I also have weather underground is for this service right here is radar. That's one thing I do not have with the app is I don't have any kind of radar uh, exposure. So I, I, I don't know it, what's coming other than if I look at, you know, these hourly reports. So that's why I have uh, Weather Underground and utilize this because their weather system or their radar system is, is pretty accurate and pretty good. But I'll, I will link to these as well in the video so that you can check them out as well. Uh, but in any event, as always, we appreciate you watching these videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We love interacting with you, so please do that. And as I said, if you like these videos, please subscribe, share them with your family and friends. We're going to be doing a lot more of these videos. We have 72 acres out here. We burn wood, so we're going to be making a lot more videos and just kind of talking about living out in the country and kind of the rural life that we've chosen to live. So certainly subscribe uh, to get notified of those videos as well. Uh, so until the next video, we appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.